The BFG 9000, without a doubt the most powerful weapon in Classic Doom, being capable of killing big groups of demons with ease and even take down a cyberdemon in two shots. But it's a pretty complicated and often misunderstood weapon. Is it a glorified rocket launcher? What's with the green sparkly things that appear? Why did this cyberdemon survive 10 BFG shots while the other one dies in two? How the heck does it work? Let's find out. Well, the BFG shoots huge plasma balls of pure concentrated death. What not many people know is that the projectile deals the least damage of the entire package. A BFG ball deals random damage between 100 and 800 and multiples of 100. So where's the rest of the damage? The majority of the damage is dealt through the green sparkly particles. But how exactly do they appear? To explain that, let's take a step back. Let's take a thorough look to what happens when you pull the BFG's trigger. First of all, there's a slight delay before firing the gun. You can hear a stock sound effect of electricity charging up. And behold, there's our BFG ball. The BFG ball keeps traveling until it hits a solid surface like a wall or demon. Something peculiar happens when the BFG ball explodes. On its third explosion frame, it will activate its secondary attack. In Doom's code, this is called a BFG spray. Put on your turbo nerd goggles, because we're gonna walk through the code. An angle is calculated based on the projectile's trajectory, which is 90 degrees in our example, minus 45 degrees, plus an addition based on the current iteration. The first iteration is zero, so the calculated angle will be 47.25 degrees. Then, an invisible tracer is shot that originates from the player who shot the BFG ball. The angle of this tracer is the one we just calculated. The game checks if this tracer hits an enemy, if it does, spawn the green particle effect and deal damage. The damage calculation is unorthodox to say the least. A damage value of 0 is initialized, then a random number between 0 and 255 is picked from the RNG table, and a bitwise AND is applied. Simplified, this bit of code will generate a number between 0 and 7. Then a 1 is added, so a random value between 1 and 8 is added to the damage. A random value will be added to the damage 15 times. Because of Doom's static and predictable RNG table, the calculated damage is always between 49 and 87. Now, whoever is hit by the tracer must receive the calculated damage. This tracer code is iterated 40 times, with the tracer angle slightly changing each iteration, creating a cone of tracers. So, to keep it simple, your BFG projectile explodes, and you emit 40 invisible tracers in the shape of a cone in the direction the BFG ball was shot that each deal random damage. These tracers, like Bisso and Chang'an tracers, are affected by vertical aim. This means it will also hit enemies above and below you as long as you're not too far away. Time for some pro strats. To deal maximum damage, you need to ensure all 40 tracers hit the opponents. So, for instance, if you want to hit the Cyberdemon with 40 tracers, you gotta get close to him. A risky, but rewarding move, as it allows you to take out this chiseled bomb with only 80 cells. Another strategy is to not bother with the BFG's projectile at all. You can take out big groups of demons with ease, but often you want to do that fast. Do not wait for the BFG ball's travel time, shoot against the wall and then peek around the corner the moment you emit the BFG tracers. If you time it really well, you can kill monsters behind your back. Even if you don't face your enemies, you can still emit tracers from whatever direction. Very sneaky. And speaking of sneaky, in deathmatch you can actually shoot the BFG without making a sound. While you charge up your BFG, quickly hump the wall so the player does the oom sound. This sound overrides any sound your weapon is making, and that's how you can abuse the silent BFG trick. And that's how the BFG works! There's many, many strategies for this gun, and it's up to the player to be creative. Definitely one of the most unique and strategic weapons ever made. And probably by accident too, since the gun was supposed to shoot 40 projectiles instead. But it was too leggy and according to John Romero, it looked like Christmas. So they used a hitscan spray attack instead. So, in the end, the cover of the last episodes of Doom is kinda accurate. The drawing just depicts a BFG tracer hitting the Baron, but visible. And the same with the Doom comic. Many people say the BFG is depicted incorrectly here. In the comic, it looks like the BFG is unleashing a crap ton of bullets, but actually, it's the BFG tracers. Those comic artists knew their stuff, let me tell you. Thanks for watching, hope you learn a new thing or two. Also, big thanks to my patrons, and a very, very big thank you to Andri Diklin. Cyprian Rusen, Sean Wang, Roman Orehoff, Turbine 2K5, Stephen Bone, Joseph Coleman. Thank you for the support this month, I really appreciate it. See you in the next video.